Okay, so I basically just wanted to make this video real quick because this is something I feel like a lot of people run into and the fix is actually really easy and inexpensive. I'll show you this one I just did. It's a little crude right now, but once, once you drive on it a bit, um, it'll settle up. But this tire was totally flat yesterday. It's holding beautifully. Um, and I actually have two pinholes um, on both sides of this tractor. I must have ran something over. Um, I'll put some air in this one and show you kind of what it looks like. Now you can get these tire repair kits with Tractor Supply. Um, tractor Supply is just, they just have the, uh, uh, it's called the Tire Tackle Kit which is this. I'm not sponsored by this company at all. It's just what I what I found at the store and I wanted to give it a shot. So I'll put some air in here. Okay. Oh, well, it's hard to do this with the phone. It's inflated. Spray our soapy water. And let's see. You can see it's bubbling up right there. There's our hole. It's a there's a tiny little pinhole. But nonetheless pump it up and then tomorrow morning this thing will be dead flat so what comes with this kit is basically this this is the whole set this is our reamer this is going to put the whole uh fresh hole in and these serrated edges basically clean it um, and then they have these plugs these gooey black plugs that go onto this needle punch needle nose punch whatever you want to call this thing um but here i'll just i'll just show you how, how it works so basically <laughs> let's find our hole again there it is oh. <laughs> heck is it? oh there it is so you're literally just gonna Shove it right in there. And then just kind of. You want to do this with the tire pumped up. It makes this this portion pretty easy. Don't pull it all the way out, otherwise, it'll go flat. That should do it. So it looks like we can clean some of this up before we actually let's not clean it up i cleaned up the one last night and the first plug i did it leaked and i had to redo it so let's let's see what happens if we leave that excess this excess little donut thing that's that's now if you can see that yeah that's where that's where it punched in and all this extra stuff is from the from the reaming. Oh, I gotta put the phone down again. Try to get this on camera. Take your little gooey stick here. Gonna thread it through this needle thing. Could probably wear gloves if you wanted to, but not really necessary. This part can be kind of a pain. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this other than just shove it through like I'm doing, but that's what I do. Once you get it started, you pull it through about halfway like that. Okay, and it's as simple as this. Find your hole again. 
Where is it? There it is. You find your hole. You shove this thing in there. Oh. Easier to said than done, I guess. Yeah. All right. Sorry. That was a bad shot, but I had to push it. Um, you push it in there until it's sticking out like that. And then in one motion without, without doing any kind of twist or lateral movement, just straight out. You grab it and pull it straight out. And it detaches out of the front of this needle. That little slot at the tip is where that detaches. So it's not cutting it or anything. Um, but yeah, and then the next part I like to do before I trim it, because we do need to trim the end of that, at least somewhat. Um, come here, air hose. Pump it back up. And let's see, about 10 PSI, which is about there. And then just a final test. No bubbles. Yeah, guys, this kit is cool because it's super quick. It's 10 bucks. I realize it's probably not a permanent fix, but when it's spring, like it is right now, you gotta get your yard cleaned up. I didn't notice this until middle of winter when I was messing with the tractor. So, and then I'm just gonna come through, and I don't know, you probably can't see it from over there, but I'm just gonna come through, real gentle, and just trim this somewhat close to the tire. You don't need to get all the way in there, because you don't want it to break the seal. But kind of like the one back there. The more you drive over it, it's gonna mash it down anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> blows, blow some of those bubbles out. So there it is. Super easy, guys. I've never used this style before, so this is a little new to me, but yeah, it's holding up beautifully. That one I did last night. Checked it this morning, everything's good. This one I'm thinking is gonna be the same way. So yeah, simple as that. Um, you know, if you guys ever wanna see anything else like this, just let me know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think down below. Um, yeah. Simple how to fix a flat on a basic lawnmower. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.